Hello and welcome to another series of my recording on artificial intelligence. Today we'll be talking about gold trees and specifically we'll be talking about the problem of Hanoi, uh, the Tower of Hanoi. So let's start. What is the problem of Hanoi? Problem of Hanoi states that you have three pins and three disks. You start with pin A and pin B and pin C where pin C and pin B are empty and all the disks are in pin A ordered in this order and what you want to do is you want to basically take the pins or take the disk sorry from pin number A to pin number C and have them stacked in the right order as shown in the example and you have some constraints okay what are the constraints that we have we have only one disk can be moved at a time so you can only and only move one disk so if you start from here you can only move one disk at a time you can take this number one for example to B or to C and that's your move. You cannot move more than that in one step. Then you can have the next step and the third step later on. A disk can only be moved if it is the upper disk on a stack. So the second constraint that we have, we can only and only move the topmost disk on the stack. So we cannot move pin num uh, disk number three or two over here. We can only move disk number one. The third constraint that we have is that no larger disk may be placed on top of a smaller disk. So we cannot place disk number three on top of disk number two, and disk number two on top of disk number one. That is not allowed. So if you've nev never played this game before, I would urge you to stop you this video and try to do it on a piece of paper, or if you have the pins and the disks, you can actually do it. It's much more fun uh, doing that, and try to attempt it and come up with, a, uh, with an understanding and then come back. What we want to do over here is to basically break down this problem into steps so that a computer program can actually handle this and solve this problem. So how are we going to go and solve this problem? What we will do is we will construct something called the gold tree. How do we construct the gold tree? We start with our initial state. So this is the initial state where the game actually starts with, okay? So this is the tree that uh, this is the no this is the state that we have where all the Disks are in pin number A. Now, given the constraints that I have that I can only move the top disk and I can only uh, have one disk move at a time, so the top disk is number one and I can only move it one disk at a time, the next state, can, there are two options for me that I can display for you. I can move number one to pin number B, so disk number one move from disk, uh, pin number A to pin number B, or I can move disk number one from pin number A to pin number C. So I have these two options, so I can actually draw these lines and then do the options, the states that I actually am in. And now I have my new states over here. And notice I did not violate any constraints that I have. All the three constraints are satisfied. I moved in one disk, I only moved the top of the disk, and uh, I did not place any disk that is larger on the smaller. Okay, so now this is the tree, and you can see how the tree is expanding. This is called one branch, so we have left-hand side one branch, and on the right-hand side we have another branch. Now let's take the right-hand side branch and see what we can do with it. We can actually move pin number one back to the pin A, which we will be going back to this state, and we don't want to do that because we just did this and we want to go to the solution. Uh, so we're not going to do that. We can move pin number one from C to B, but if I do that, I am at this state, and I will leave that state, so I'm going to expand it in a second. So that's not going to be very useful because I already have it. So the only thing remaining for me is I take pin number two and move it. Now, there are two options for me to move pin number two. I can put it on top of one, or I can put it on pin number B. So if I put it on top of one, I put in pin number C. Now, notice over here that when I put disk number two on top of disk number one, I am violating one of the constraints that I have that you cannot place a larger disk on a smaller disk, so I will take the state out, and this is the state that still remains with me here. Similarly, over here, we can do the same thing, and we can say that the two can move on top of one, or the two can move to pin C, and when it moves on top of one, this is a state that is not desirable because I have not satisfied my constraint, and I take that state out, now I have these two states left okay so i have actually gone to the second level of this tree and you can see how the tree is expanding okay and there are some states that are going to be cancelled and you do not need to expand those states you only expand the states that do not have any issues if you keep on doing this you go to level three level four level five eventually what will happen is that you will reach to a state which will be your end state and as soon as you reach that you stop and you say 
hey, I have done my task and I have transferred all the disks and then the steps will be following this tree and seeing what are the steps that you have taken and you will have a result, okay? So this is called a goal tree. So we, we are reaching a goal state. We had a start state and from the start state, we are going to the goal state. So the above tree is only to the second level. And when we solve the tree, here's how the tree was gonna, uh, the solution is gonna be given. So I'm gonna take the solution that was on the right-hand side. So I actually take uh, this number one, put it over here, this number two, then I take it and put it in pin number B. So I have in each one, one disc. Then I move back the disc number one to on top of this number two. Then I move this number three over here. All of this will be in the tree. Notice this is step four. That means that tree depth is four. And later on, I have to move the one onto the uh, pin number A so that I can actually take the two and put it over here because I can only move one disc at a time. And, and the sixth step, I will go to this state. And in the seventh step, I will be able to finish my uh, problem. So I actually basically need a seven depth of the tree at least to reach to a solution. Now, the other side, if you work on the other side, you could have done the same thing. You might have reached it in the seven steps, or maybe sometimes in some examples, you might really need more steps on the other tree, on the other branch of the tree. So this is how we can actually solve the problem. So we're basically making this tree and we make the computer go through the trees, do list all the states that it can go to, and then cross out the states that it cannot have, and then keep the states that are valid, and then keep on expanding until the computer finds a goal, which was this one, within the tree, and then the computer stops. So it makes life pretty much easy. Now, this concept can be very easily programmed in the computer, okay? So before we go to the programming, let's come back over here and just for the sake of example, okay, let's talk about what if I had four disks, okay? So when I have four disks, you can imagine that when I take one disk out and put it into another, uh, into another pin, so if I take, for example, there are four disks over here and I take one and put it onto pin number C, the remaining two to four over here, they become the same thing as a three disk problem. So if you have a solution for a three disk problem, it is very easy for you to get the solution of the four disk problem. You move one disk and the three disk problem still remains the same. It will generate the same tree. So you can actually utilize this knowledge so that if you have the two disk problem solution, you can do the three disk solution very easily. If you have the three disk solution, you can do the four disk solution and going on. And for this, we use something called recursion in computer science. So this is a code in Python for the uh, Tower of Hanoi. Now I have to tell you over here, this function is not using any AI algorithm. It's just using pure programming technique to solve the Tower of Hanoi problem, okay? So in the Tower of Hanoi, we're putting n to be three. So my n over here is the number of disks that I have. And then I'm calling the Tower of Hanoi function and I'm telling it I have pin A, pin B, pin C. And in the Tower of Hanoi function, uh, basically this is written in a recursive manner. So I basically try to reduce the number of disks by one and then call the same uh, function of the Tower of Hanoi again, giving it the same pins. So I reduce the number of pins and then I try to solve it. As I told you, if I have a solution of two, I can do the solution of three. If I have a solution of three, I can do the solution of four because the same tree is going to be generated. And hence, uh, until I reach when my pin number is one, and that solution is the simplest. You just move that pin to the right location and you can actually construct a tree. And as you can see over here, it has actually done all the tasks over here. So it's showing you over here, you have to move disk one from A to C, you have to move disk two from A to B, you have to move disk one from C to B, and it's all giving you all the steps that you have to do. Okay, so we can come over here and I'm gonna change this maybe to four and then run it again for you. And you can actually see the program is running and it's trying to attempt to do a four disk problem. 
and you can see it's actually giving you all the commands that it has to do. So it basically generated the tree. Now the four will have a larger tree. It will generate that tree, and then when it reaches the goal, it's going to go on top and trace back to all the steps that it has done, and then display those steps for you in sequence. So these are the steps displayed in sequence. You can actually go and make it seven, and you can actually see how big the tree is going to be. So you can actually see, uh, just to show you over here, this is the steps, and I will show you this is going up. I'm still going up. I'm still going up. Uh, so the number of steps, basically, since we have three pins, will exponentially explode and will go to have very high. But at the end of the day, if you follow all these steps, you can actually do a seven stack tower of Hanoi. Okay, so if you have seven disks. So basically, what we're trying to tell you over here, okay, constructing a tree is a very powerful tool for you to actually visualize the problem. Okay, so we human beings do perception. Well, one of the ways of perception that we do is we take the problem and transfer it to trees. And then we build the tree. It is easy for us to work with trees. We can visualize it. We can see the paths. We can see how it's going, how it's branching. And we can talk about those trees. And that basically helps us understand the problem that is in our hand. I hope you enjoyed this video. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.